Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Jurassic Park Trespasser. I'm Digital Stuff Man and we're going to continue exploring the lab and doing what we have to do. We got some more stuff here. The clear fluid held a cloudy layer of DNA strands. Alright, that's cool. So this was all there was. Looks like a freshman science lab. Yeah, freshman science lab. You know, my science lab more looks more like, you know, looks more interesting than that. My freshman science lab looks a lot more interesting than this place. On the one here, you got some real crap. Velociraptor. Velociraptor. Velociraptor and a gun. Feels full. I don't need that. So this is cool. Let's let's get off here before like you know one hatches. Actually no, they've all hatched and they've left. As you see that door down there, if you noticed, required a purple key card. So this is one way to enter without the key card. And we're just gonna take a secret way. We're not secret, but this this allows you to get a gun if you really need it. Raptor preened itself utterly confident of its right to be there, absolutely no consciousness that it was not the sovereign ruler of this earth. I, I don't know why, I always like that audio About line. 20. Like, you can call me weird for like liking that specific audio line, considering that it's not really, there's nothing special about it whatsoever. I just seem to like for some reason. Let's go unlock this door. You know, this isn't really as interesting as I'd imagined. Yeah, you know, you know, being side B, it's not that interesting. Nice carpet, dude. Nice carpet, man. Nice carpet. Can't even tell if that is carpet or just painted flooring. Painted tile. That's carpet. Come on, Hammond. It's your office. Gotta be something here. Oh. <gasps> 526327. This could be interesting. Just in case I forget that, just throw it out. It's the ghost mirror. Ooh, John Hammond's key card on John's John. Okay, I can dig. What's it? What's this? Can I? Man, I have a better monitor than that anyway. Mine. Six rounds. My monitor is sixteen by ten. Man, that's a four by three. Even though I should probably get a sixteen by nine soon. If we're, if we're really gonna discuss computer grids, I could really use a graphics card, but that's that's another story for another time. We're gonna go down to screw the gun, and could you stop dropping that key card? Heart of an empire. There, you don't need a key card anymore. Never mind. Looks like you do need the key card. Okay. Okay, cool, cool. Another, like, clock thing. Whatever. I. Ugh. Ugh. Oh no, please let me out, please let me out, please let me out, please let me out. Nothing special. Nothing special. A lost world. A lost world. <gasps> this was the lost world. Hmm. 
No, a let's, lost world. Whoops. Let's take our red key card. And give us access to probably the most interesting building here. Central. She acts like she's all cool, like, oh, no, Central. Wait, if the data is still in here, I could conceivably be a very rich girl. All it takes is a modem. Yep, a modem. Too bad there's none here. At least, not none that work. Uh, you know. Just explore every room. Now this next room here actually kind of creeped me out when I actually learned to learn about this. Look at that. So supposedly somebody was in here, counting away each day of their life until they finally died. That's horrible. That is just horrible. It's cold in here. Yeah, it's cold in there. Probably because they like, appear downstairs. Star Wars referenced. Alright. I can dig. I still believe Nedry left himself a back door. Something about the hobbits or God knows what. A back door. Swords. Kendar. And then we have, he has, um, Malice, Mal, Malice, uh, God, what's the name of it, Malice, is it Malice? Uh, it doesn't sound right. Mace, yeah, Mace, that's what it is. Pretty sure. Now this Mace happens to be incredibly deadly for ma. I was about to say mobs, God, I've played too much Minecraft. Uh, heavily dangerous dinosaurs. Speaking of Minecraft, though, I, I actually started a Minecraft Hardcore World. It's going along pretty good. Anyway, back to Trespasser. So, we have this place. Cray boot up. You pretty much have to have the right colors. The first things first. Powered it on. It was in the last days of genetic recovery. And at this point, nothing was certain. Was the DNA there? Could we bring it back? Well, it was 3 a.m. The room was strewn with soda cans, and for the hundredth time, we ran the extraction sequence. Dennis, what are we looking at? All my life I'd waited for something great, something extraordinary. As Nedry typed, the world seemed to hold its breath. And for a moment we stood at the turning point between two great planetary eras. The million year reign of man and the age of the dinosaurs. And then it opened up the cold red true. The barrier of time for for an instant opened. Nedry and I stared into the monitor. Straight back through sixty-five thousand centuries. So 
and not the town facility we go then. So I kind of waited in between each audio line to be sure you guys got to hear it. And I guess they... There's a mountain over there I guess they expected you to see. But basically all that did was just unlock this door. And I really like this music track. It's kind of peaceful and somewhat depressing at the same time. Owned. Man, I, I kind of feel bad for the guy. He's been gnawing on this bone for years. Trapped in here, just wanting to get out and I just come in and kill him. He couldn't have a family or anything. He was trapped in there Ow. his entire life. As we can see in here, we got nothing. Are those claw marks? I feel bad to be the last guy who was in here. Anyway, this is the end of the uh, lab level. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next part. Bye bye.